Tim O'Brien knows that, yes, indeed, you actually can have an election in the middle of a political <laughs> season. He said that a, a few times. And then that, that you know, nicely phrased, uh, let's see, what it, we're going to, we're, we'll bring crime back to law, law and order. Um, Tim, what, what's happening to the man's mind? You, you've studied him a long time. You've spent time with him uh, back when you were writing about him, before he sued you for telling the truth about how rich he wasn't. Uh, what are you seeing in this? Well, you know, Lawrence, one, it's a reminder that this is going to be a very long election season. It's going to be eight months, and we are in the very early stages of it. And Donald Trump is already demonstrating that he can't handle the pressure. Of course, he had a busy day today. He had to appear in court to deal with the fact that he has both cr massive criminal and civil litigation on his doorstep. But, um, you know, beyond just the pressure of the day, I think he's already demonstrating that he's going to have a very hard time dealing with the pressure of the weeks and the months as this campaign rolls on. And I think for voters watching him unspool day after day on camera and, and, and basically, you know, planting his own foot in his mouth day after day on camera, they're going to have to ask themselves whether or not this is someone who can sit in the Oval Office and should have his finger on the nuclear button and should be overseeing the most dynamic economy on the planet and should be trying to heal a country that has been buffeted by public health crises and political divisions. And he is simply not up to it. And, and, and I think it's another reminder as well that this isn't an election that, that is a Democrat facing a Republican. It is an election in which Joe Biden... A, a senior public servant who is rational and well-meaning and is surrounded by a group of very talented and capable advisors is, is facing off against Donald Trump, who is an unhinged narcissist, who has no interest in anything other than himself and is willing to torch the Constitution to get there. And, and one of his comments today is evidence of that, that we're going to bring crime back into law and order. I'm certain he didn't mean to say that, but at the same time, it's exactly what he's done. Mm -hmm. he, has, you know, he has spent the last several years trying to dig out at the foundations of the rule of law and civic society and civil society. Um, so I think anyone watching him today, I think also just has to get ready not to become inured to this because it'll be really easy to tune this out because we're gonna get more of it week after week. And if we don't see it for what it is and hold them accountable for it, uh, uh, then we're gonna end up on the wrong side of the stick on this. Uh, Tim, quickly before you go, is Donald Trump gonna be able to come up with $175 million in the next 10 days? I think he probably will, Lawrence, but it's gonna tie him up. It's gonna affect his business. It, you know, he, he already had to post a lot of money in the E. Jean Carroll case. Uh, this certainly isn't four hundred and 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 fifty four million dollars, uh, but it's still a substantial amount of money. And I, and it'll be interesting to see where he sources the money. We should see if he gets it from abroad or if he gets it from various um, surety firms, whether or not that throws kind of a body blow into his family's ability to do business in New York anyway. Tim O'Brien, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Thank you, Lawrence. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.